What up, players? It's War Boss Tamp in this mode. Welcome to another Take 5 with the War Boss, a 5-minute or less video that talks a little bit about my, my insights and thought process when going about painting my models. Today we're looking at the Empire for Warhammer Fantasy. I've got some painted examples on the right, and for this video you can also reference any of the other Empire videos that I did previously to this one. The concept remains the same in all of them. Okay, first off, some people have been ask, asking me to do a very basic tutorial or guide on how I go about painting my troops. And I can say that I use pretty much the same technique for all of my models. First, I choose a paint scheme. So this guy here is from Auslan. He's got the black and white. This guy's here from Raiklin with the cream. Let's take a look at this guy from Sterling. He's a halberdier. And I've got my trusty handy dandy uniforms and heraldry of the Empire book. I'm going to turn to Sterling, and just like I did when I was going to paint this guy, I found a color scheme that I liked. So let's take a look at it right now. It's this archer fellow right here. He's got a yellow uniform with green sleeves and brown pants. So that's the color scheme that I went for, even though this is an archer and the figure that I was painting was a halberdier. It pretty much uses the exact same color scheme, which is what I wanted. Now, when I was deciding to paint it up, it's even got little green slashes in the trousers, which I love. While I was deciding what color scheme I wanted, I took a look at the things that, the, the, the colors that I would need to paint. So, for example, he's got a wooden weapon here. My halberdier has a wooden staff weapon, so I knew I would have to paint the staff a dark brown color. I decided to go with Mornfang Brown instead of this dark brown color that would have looked more like a dryad bark. I also noticed that his belt was dark brown, and he's wearing some brown boots there. The boots look a little bit more like Mornfang Brown, so I chose those. And if I was using an archer with a quiver, then Mornfang Brown probably for that, or also Dryad Bark. Basically, I take a look at the figure and I see, okay, what gets painted not in the uniform colors? The uniform colors being green and yellow. He's got brown trousers, dark brown boots. You'll notice a lot of different browns and beiges on all the characters. It doesn't matter where you're from. Here's, an, here's a page on Ostermark. And again, looking at the halberds, you've got the brown wood for the staff. Some of these guys have brown pouches, the brown of the crossbow, uh, the brown of the, the handgun stock, light beige for the leather belts. So you'll see that there's, no matter what region you're painting, you pretty much have the same kind of colors throughout, usually. So these are the colors that I found work really well. Mornfang Brown works great for pouches and boots and hats. Boots and hats, boots and hats. Steel Legion Drab as well. You can also use Steel Legion Drab or Mornfang Brown for the wooden uh, weapons like staffs or of the halberds, crossbows, handgun stocks, like I said. Lead Belcher, for all your silver, you're going to need a silver base coat, and this is it. Very reminiscent of the old uh, bolt gun metal. Balthazar Gold, doesn't matter what kind of gold you're going for, if you have any kind of gold detailing, whether it's going to end up bright gold, like auric armor gold, or whether it's going to end up like a dirty dark brass, this is the <clears throat> base coat you want for it. It goes on really easily. For bandages or wrappings, Rackarth Flesh is fantastic. The skin of all your Empire troops should base in Bugman's Glow. And they can either stay that dark or they can get lighter with washes and highlights. Dryad Bark I found is great for boots, shoes, um, hats, and anything that's kind of like cloth. I try not to use it for belts because it's a, it's a very dark color, so I try not to use it for anything around the waist. But for boots or hats, it's great. Abaddon Black, of course, for black leather belts. So if you take a look at any of my figures, I challenge you, go back, take a look at any of the, the Warhammer fantasy guys that I built, and you'll see where I use different colors. The hat, Mornfang Brown, the boots and the leather on this one, Dryad Bark, this guy, Mornfang Brown, a lot. You'll see I'm pretty consistent on what I like to use, and that's because it will create unifying colors for all of your Empire Troopers, no matter what, great sword, Harvard Deer, Crossbowman. It's a great tip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a Take 5 with the War Boss. Latest players!